name is Zay Kalpna here. In this video, we are going to solve the differential equation which is linear in x. So, let's get going. Problem. Solve x plus y plus 1 into dy by dx equals to 1. Solution. Given differential equation. x plus y plus 1 into dy by dx equals to 1, right, then, you can take the terms under brackets to RHS, you will get dy by dx equals to 1 by x plus y plus 1, again, dx by dy equals to x plus y plus 1. So now, we need to reduce the given equation to standard form of linear equation in x. We know that the standard form of linear equation in x is dx by dy plus p into x equals to q. Here p and q are functions of x alone or constants. Okay. So, we'll take the term or function of x to LHS. Then you'll get dx by dy minus x equals to y plus 1. Right. Now, by comparing these two, we'll get P and Q. So, the coefficient of X minus 1 is our P and RHS part will be our Q. Where Q is a function of, sorry, here Q, P and Q are functions of Y alone, not X. So, here Q is a function of Y alone and P, that is the coefficient of X is minus 1, which is a constant. which is linear in y where p equals to minus 1 and q equals to y plus 1, which is a function of x, sorry, function of y and p is constant. Now we need to find the integration factor or integrating factor we know that the integrating factor of linear equation in x is given by e power integral p d y so we'll use e power integral p d y to find the integrating factor of the given equation, integral for p equals to minus 1 into dy, which is equal to e power minus integral dy, which is equal to e power minus integral dy is y. So, therefore, our integrating factor is e power minus y. Now we can find the general solution to the given equation. We know that the general solution of linear equation in X is given by X into integrating factor equals to integral Q into integrating factor into dy plus c. Now using this formula, we'll find the general solution to the given equation. The general solution of the given equation is x 
into integrating factor e power minus y equals to integral q for q equals to y plus 1 into integrating factor into dy plus c. This equals to integral y into e power minus y dy plus integral 1 into e power minus y is e power minus y into dy plus c. Now, consider this integrand, integral y into e power minus y dy or integral, first integral. So, here the integrand is of polynomial function into exponential function form, right? If the integrand is of the form polynomial function into exponential function then we'll choose polynomial function as u and remaining part as dv and we'll use integral by parts formula u dv equals to uv minus integral v du. Okay. Let polynomial function be u and the remaining part be d. Okay. u equals to y and dv equals to the remaining part e power minus y into d. Okay. Now differentiate on both sides with respect to y. The rate of y with respect to 1 is, sorry, with respect to y is 1. Then we'll get du equals to 1 into dy. dy. Now we integrate on both sides to get b. Integral dv equals to integral e power minus y into dy. Then v equals to integral e power minus y is e power minus y by minus 1, which is minus e power minus y. Now we can apply the formula. Integral u into dv equals to uv for u equals to y and v equals to minus e power minus y minus integral v for v equals to minus e power minus y into du for du equals to dA. Sorry, for du equals to dy is equals to minus y into e power minus y minus into minus plus integral e power minus y into dy which is equal to minus y e power minus y plus integral e power minus y dy is e power minus y by minus 1, not y, okay, e power minus y by minus 1, which is equal to minus y e power minus y, so you can write this as minus e power minus y which is equal to minus y e power minus y plus into minus minus e power minus y right so this equals to minus y e power minus y minus e power minus y fine now value the second integral e power minus y dy equals to e power minus y by minus 1 which is minus e power minus y so now, this becomes equals to integral y e power minus y dy is minus y e power minus y minus e power minus y and plus e power integral e power minus y dy is minus e power minus y plus integral constant c. Then x into e power minus y equals to take e power y common from all these three terms or better you can just write this as y e power minus y minus y into e power minus y minus e power y minus y minus e power minus y is minus 2 e power minus y right now take e power minus y common from these two terms then you'll get or you can take minus of or minus e power minus y common from these two terms then you'll get y plus 
now or you can take this e power minus y to rhs you will get x equals to minus e power minus y times y plus 2 plus c by e power minus y is equal to you having two terms in the numerator and one term in the two denominator so we can split this into two terms minus e power minus y into y plus 2 by e power minus y plus c by e power minus y then x equals to your e power minus y gets cancelled you'll get minus of y plus 2 plus c by you can write e power minus x as 1 by e power x, right? Then you'll get 1 by e power y, which is equal to minus of y plus 2 plus c into e power y. Therefore, x equals to minus of y plus 2 plus c into e power y is the required solution. So there is a given equation, right? You can just write this as x plus y plus 1 equals to take this dy by dx to RHS, you will get 1 by dy by dx and you can change the whole number 1 as a fraction, then you'll get x plus y plus 1 equals to 1 by 1 into dx by dy. From this, you'll get x plus y plus 1 equals to dx by dy. Okay, few people may get confusion that how this had become to this. So now it's clear, right? Fine. So we have seen a problem from linear equation in x. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.